All praise be to Allah and peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al hafiz the guardian. Therefore, he gives every creature its own sword to fight in the battle of life. He gives some animals their ability to run fast like deer and rabbits. Some of them are given horns which can defend against predators who come close to them like the buffalo. He saves some of them by their enormity of their bodies so they crush the enemies with their heavy weight like the elephant and bear. And some of them are given a weapon which saves them by electrically shocking those who are touched them like the electric eel. Also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives snakes and scorpions venom to save their lives and help them eat their prey. A chameleon is protected by its ability to change its skin color when needed. Others are saved by their ability to fly, by elusiveness or by climbing. These are only a few small examples of his protection. There is still a great deal that we don't understand about his protection that is beyond our comprehension. Do you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala defends the believers? Listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inna Allah yudafi'u an al-lazina amanu. إن الله لا يحب كل خوان كفور سبحان الله الله سبحانه وتعالى doesn't only protect them from the evil but also defends them this is a hint of the ferocity of what they will encounter and the diversity of its forms but Allah knows best what enemies intend to do so he keeps them away from his loved ones in the sacred hadith, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, He who opposes those devoted to me is warned by a war for me. Imagine a war between an enemy of the religion and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who wins? Who is defeated? But who is disappointed? Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the guardian of his true believers. He saves them with special care, with his love, his care and his mercy. The polytheists of Mecca gathered around a cave where two men were hiding. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and Abu Bakr Siddiq. May Allah be pleased with him. The financial temptations were pushing the polytheists to kill them. Let aside their hatred and the desire to get the honor of getting the most important figure of that time. Fear crept into the heart of Abu Bakr radiallahu an. But his great companion looked at him and said, what do you think of two and Allah is their third? Don't be sad. Allah is with us. At that moment, the fears dispersed, the trembling disappeared, and the confusion dissolved. In Surah Al-Kahf, when the young men resorted to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and asked him guidance, so he directed them to a cave without a door. A cave open to humans, birds, and predators. But he wants to save them by throwing one of his soldiers to them. It is the soldier of terror. No sooner does anyone approach the cave than he is horrified and loses his desire to move forward. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. وَنُقَلِّبُهُمْ ذَاتَ الْيَمِينِ وَذَاتَ الشِّمَالِ وَكَلْبُهُمْ بَاسِطٌ ذِرَاعَيْهِ بِالْوَصِيدِ لَوْ اطَّلَعْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ لَوَلَّيْتَ مِنْهُمْ فِرَارًا وَلَمُلِئْتَ مِنْهُمْ رُعْبًا If you or I want to throw something, we throw a rock. But the Almighty throws what is more important, greater and extraordinary. The Almighty says, سَأُلْقِي فِي قُلُوبِ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا الرُّعْبَ For the sake of his slaves and those devoted to him, he throws terror in the hearts of the disbelievers so that their limbs shiver in fear of those devoted to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. O oh Allah! We ask you to grant tranquility in our hearts and in the hearts of those we are unable to help. Our Lord, forgive me, my parents and the believers when the day of account is established. Jazakumullahu khayran. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.